welcome to yet another video empowered by managementbliss.com. As we all know that a sprint means to run a short race at full speed. In this video, let us discuss about what do sprints mean in Agile. Let us get started with the agenda. We will be talking about characteristics of a sprint, scrum ceremonies associated with the sprint and benefits of using sprints in Agile. Let's get started with the characteristics. First one is sprints are time boxed, which means that they will have a particular duration of time. There is a start date and end date associated with each sprint. Time boxing is a powerful time management technique that helps team to prioritize and manage their work accordingly. Time boxing also allows the team to work at an optimum pace. Second characteristic is sprints are for short duration. Duration of sprints should be only for a few weeks and not months as it becomes easier to plan and manage. Shorter time duration also ensure periodic and quick feedback. Next characteristic is that sprints should have a consistent duration. Along with short duration, sprints ensure consistent duration for all sprints. If the team decides on a two-week sprint, then all sprints in the product development life cycle should only be for two weeks. This rule should always be followed unless there is a solid reason to break it. Next characteristic is that there is a definite sprint goal associated with each sprint. Each sprint defines a goal that states the business purpose and value of the sprint. The sprint goal once decided should not be changed. Sprint goals induce mutual commitments in the team. The last characteristics we will talk about is that each sprint cycle is associated with reviews and feedbacks. This review should happen at the end of sprint where team gets a chance to demonstrate their work done in a sprint. With that we will be moving on to the scrum ceremonies associated with the sprint. First one is sprint planning. Sprint planning prepares the team to plan what is just required for the sprint. Sprint planning provides an opportunity for the team to understand and decide the contents of the sprint and do a reasonable estimation on the sprint items at the same time. Next is Daily Scrum. Once the sprint starts, the team meets daily for a minimum duration to discuss how things are going and if any impediments need to be resolved. These daily scrum meetings are there to talk about what you did yesterday, what you are planning for today and are there any impediments. Next scrum ceremony is sprint review. Sprint review is a ceremony that happens at the end of each sprint. In this meeting, team showcases the work they could complete as per the definition of done. The stakeholders provide their feedback for improvements and the product owner approves the deliverables. Last sprint ceremony we will discuss is sprint retrospection. Sprint retrospection is another powerful ceremony to accept the mistakes and learn from them. The three questions for discussion in sprint retrospection meetings are what went well, what didn't go well, what should be improved. With that, we will be moving on to the benefits of using sprints in Agile. Firstly, sprint forces prioritization of work. Second, sprint demonstrates the team's iterative progress which adds interest in the team through gratification on accomplished work. Third, sprint provides a platform for continuous feedback and validation of deliverables. Fourth, sprint avoids goal plating and unnecessary perfectionism. Fifth, Sprint improves the predictability of the team on what they can accomplish shortly. Sixth, Through Sprints, team learns to work at an optimum pace, which saves the team from days of boredom and overload. Seven, Sprints make team understand the importance of mutual commitment, which is beneficial for business and growth. That's all in this video. Hence, we can say that sprints are Agile's way of organizing work into iterations. Thank you.